some people may believe that God is not going to answer certain types of prayers. I am not speaking about sinful types of prayers. I am speaking about non-sinful types of prayers. Even in that category, some people may believe that God is not going to answer certain types of prayers. When you choose to not read the Bible much or pray much, your understanding of God is not going to be much. So when you try to put this limitation upon God, when your understanding of God is not much or none at all, you are going to be wrong almost every single time. This is when some people go by their way of thinking or their feelings. If your feelings are not based upon what the Bible says, it is going to be wrong. This is why we all need to adopt what the Bible says. So our understanding needs to conform to that of the Bible. I was praying for something for about a week. And some people may say what I was praying about, God is not going to answer it. I was praying for something for about a week. And I was pouring my heart into it. I was crying. So much tears. <laughs> And after a while, my prayer was answered. Now, when I received the answer to my prayer, or when I received, how can I say that? When my request to God was answered, and when I received it, <laughs> there was a bad side to it. When I was praying for what I prayed for, I could only see the positive side to it. So when I received it, it was not what I thought that it would be. And it kind of made me somewhat down at the same time. So we have to be careful in what we pray for because if you are doing things right and you are being led by your faith in God, God is going to answer your prayer. So be careful in what you are asking for because what you may ask for <laughs> you may not really like, you are only seeing one side to it. So what we need to do, and what I am learning as well, we need to ask God for more guidance. Even in the things that we believe that we like. Because what we think that we like, chances are, we are not seeing all sides to it. Let's go to James chapter 5, verse 16. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So what is that saying there? What does effectual mean? Let's look it up. Successful in producing a desired or intended result. Effective. So effectual means effective. 
pretty much. What does fervent mean? Having or displaying a passionate intensity. Okay, so when you are praying in a fervent way, you are praying in this passionate, intense way. Let's go back. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. So if you are doing something wrong to a person, confess it. Apologize. This is the best thing to do. If you need healing, first, what you should do is pray for yourself. Make sure that you are not placing so much weight on a particular man or woman of God. Make sure that you are exercising your faith and your power in God. Because in order to get stronger in God, you need to seek God more and be obedient to him. So you need to work more on your faith. So after praying for yourself and there is no changes, then you go to a man or woman of God that is stronger or have more faith than you. Don't just pile upon work or wait upon one or two people and expect <laughs> everything is cool. <laughs> Chances are, <laughs> yeah, okay. The effectual, so the effective, fervent, which is what? Intense prayer or passionate prayer of a righteous man or woman availeth much. So what this is saying, if you want your prayer to be effective, make it intense. Be passionate about it. Don't pray in this way. God, thank you for what you are doing. Please bless my family. Bless me. Give us more food, God. I thank you, Jesus. You mean everything to me. What time is it? Two minutes? In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Don't pray in that casual, everyday way. You want to pray in a passionate, intense way. That is the best way to pray. Obviously, it is telling you that it is much more effective to do it in an intense way. So I pray that this makes sense. Be passionate when you pray to God. You may not agree with this, but praying for longer is better. Yes, praying intensely is good, but praying intensely for longer is better. You may be praying for two minutes three minutes, five minutes a day, perhaps, or maybe five minutes a week. And you may think that, hey, if I pray intensely, even though my prayer is shorter, it is still good. It is okay, but praying for longer is much more better. I know for myself, when I would pray one hour a day before, I was receiving supernatural visions and stuff like that. But when I was praying for three hours a day and reading the Bible for two hours a day, <laughs> my visions and dreams and stuff like that 
was so much clear, much more clear, like I was receiving so much of the supernatural. This guy was telling me that one day I am going to have to push it up to six hours a day of praying. And I am thinking, how is that possible? <laughs> but let me say this. Seeking God longer makes a huge difference. I never would have seen the things that I have seen in such a clear way if I did not do what I did. So pray longer, longer periods, and intensely. Think about it. Let's say that you spend time with person A for two minutes a day. Okay. Let's say person B, you spend six hours a day. Okay. Who are you going to be closer with? Chances are the person that you spend more time with. <laughs> so in an earthly sense, spending more time with something or someone, you are going to learn or see more things. So seek God more and do it passionately, not in this casual, uh, <laughs> that type of way. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.